Hi everybody, um, it's been about a month since I did my last video uh, and the reason for that will become apparent in uh, a few seconds. Um, okay, right, I've called this video uh, Layout Update. Now, um, as this 7x4 was only ever meant to be a, a temporary layout, um, which to a point it still is, um, I never imagined I would be doing a layout update. But because of some health issues within the family and also because we've had the worst wettest British summer um, in donkey's years uh, my friend Bob and I have decided that the uh, construction of the special building that's going uh, behind my house um, to take a massive layout we're, we're going to delay it now until roughly April, May next year 2013, yeah, 2013. so that's what we're going to do now with this being the case and um, the fact I'm going to have to live with this 7x4 for another few months now, about six months, um, I decided to try and improve it considerably, um, brighten things up uh, and for the fun of doing it of course as well, other than I'm still not going to bother using grass and ballast because that literally is going to get wasted when it gets moved. Um, everything that I have put out and all the work I've done on it has been done in like a modular fashion which basically means um, it'll all come up and it can be reused so that's it. Now one of the things I've done then to take you around and show you what's been going off, one of the things I've done is I've added a load of trees, well a load, quite a few, um, and any greenery that you add always makes the layout look better but I'm not going to go through all the trees with it, there's no point but I, will, I do want to show you just one little bit, let me get my little pointer out, I just want to show you one little bit here which I think is quite a nice little touch these trees over here are sort of dead or dying which is quite cool uh, but I particularly like this one or these these two here because they've been sawn off look um, like they're dying and they've been sawn off um, and that's the sort of thing you see in real life when uh, tree branches are encroaching in, encroaching into a window like that so yeah it's pretty cool that so yeah. now something else to tell you when I first started to get back into the hobby back in December of 2010 so that's not even two years yet um, I bought a few job lots and which included a lot of platforms and buildings stations etc etc and um, the, the triangle ones the plastic ones and sorry the Hornby ones the plastic ones I know that they're not as good as Metcalf and things like that uh, but at the time I didn't know because I was back into it as being new um, and uh, yeah I already bought quite a few of the Hornby uh, um, items and they'd been built up by somebody but they hadn't been completed properly there was windows missing and stickers missing and items missing but I did have all the items and all the missing stuff was still in the boxes so what I've done is we'll start over here right that's not the original signal box that was there that's a different one which I built up myself and I put uh, the windows in properly and I put some figures in the windows uh, and on the uh, seat the operator seat you'll probably able to see that but what I've also been doing is I've been going around doing all this I've been fitting lighting so now we've got a light uh, I can get it, a light in the line side hook there yeah. we've got two in there upstairs and downstairs we've got one in that line side hook there We've got four in the diesel refueling shed. Now over here, this is the good shed. Now I've rebuilt this properly. It didn't have the canopy on it and I put that on. It was in the box, but I put that on. Somebody had put one ventilator thing there and they'd put windows in the other three. So I've obviously done that properly. Again, like I said, there were all, all the items were in the boxes. Right, so that's got lights in it as well now. Moving around here, I've had a couple of buildings there. That's like a engineer's hut, uh, something like that there. Um, that's now got a light in it. And then we've got a little uh, house or whatever being built there. And that's also got a night light in it. So that's those. And as I say, you'll see the trees as I go, go around the layout. So coming down here, right, that is not the same water tower. It's the same type, but it's not the same one. Uh, that's properly built up now. And the other one I had was awful, and it didn't even have a window there, so I've done it all properly. Uh, and the ladder's on it as well. Um, and that too has now got a light in it. So now over here, onto the turn tail, I'm gonna back off. Because what I've done, you'll see it here, these are absolutely gorgeous. These here, look, this is a um, yard lamp. It's called a yard lamp, and you can see that there, look really 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 nicely uh, and I've put four of those around the turntable so they look really cool when they're on at night so four of those there and I've put a few more animals out pigs um, sheep horses 
and I've filled the uh, the fields or whatever you want to call it with the herd of cattle and the brown ones have found something interesting there over near the fence look yeah cattle do that congregate um, yeah and so a few more trees etc and coming round here we've now got some uh, trees in the back garden of the railway cottages um, and then I've, I've, re I've rebuilt all of these cottages properly now I've put the light of the light on, not that it's a working one but I've put that on the drain pipes have been put on um, but i just rebuilt them all properly, i put all the windows in okay so I've done all three of those cottages correctly now i put the clock on that one, just there and I've also put a little bit of a roadway down now it doesn't go anywhere but it's there uh, some trees along the side and a telephone box there and four street lamps which are working of course as well as they uh, then in the house and I've put some figures in the windows and behind the doors again and the three cottages are also now lit at night so uh, okay so we'll just have a break for a second and I'll have a quick cup of tea and I'll tell you some more what I've done and now in my last but one video which featured 47 American Canadian locomotives um, I did point out to you that this front platform here that I had populated it with all the little figures and I'd added the lighting on um, three of the antique platform lights on each straight section um, I even ran a bit with it uh, uh, in the dark and the 12 lights really looked quite good um, I was quite surprised how well that did come out but I've now got a few more than 12, in fact I've got 58 lights on the layout I'm going to do a nighttime shot in a short while for you but just to show you um, a couple more things I've added to this front platform one of them is the, uh, the Fanta kiosk there uh, quite cute and the confectionery kiosk there which is quite cute and I've also now done the second platform there all of it is glued properly now uh, everything's secured, there's the bike shed secured and, and I've put twin antique lamps on the three straight sections of that platform you're not going to see them through the canopy really but you will do when they're lit in a few minutes time but yeah, so uh, the, and I've also populated the third platform over there and this time what I've done, I've staggered the lights in a triangular fashion I've I pressed the wrong button there, I've staggered the lights in a triangular fashion so they're sort of going one two three and then swapping over right now I'll just show you what some of the stuff on the now here there we've got a crowd looking at the uh, the 1831 um, DeWitt Clinton locomotive and there's a light in the waiting room um, another kiosk down there it's the coca-cola kiosk there and again over there to the newspaper kiosk and uh, we've got a queue there for that and there's a light in there as well and yep yeah, I bought over I bought 400 of the little figures uh, waiting to go into the booking office there I bought 400 and I've definitely used more than half of them so yeah there we go then all the platforms are populated all the lighting is fitted loads of trees out all the buildings are built correctly now um, yeah and that's pretty much it so I'm going to call it a day here and we'll do a nighttime shot so uh, stay with me okay time for a nighttime look at it um, yeah I forgot to tell you that the uh, windmill is now wired for lighting as you can see there shining on the wall as well which looks pretty cool All right we'll come down here uh, to the street there you've got the street lighting all looking good and you can probably see the lights in the buildings in the cottages and the people standing there the windows the door so it looks really quite cool that and over here we've got the yard lamps four of them around the turntable there's one two three four there and then down here we've got the the water tower waiting for the camera to focus yeah okay then over here yeah we've got the house under construction workmen have left a, a night light on there and we've got the uh, um, en engineering hut or whatever you want to call it um, and then over here you see that's the uh, goods depot you can see the people there inside the goods depot over here we've got the uh, fuel diesel refueling shed yeah cool and I also forgot to tell you that the church is also wide for lighting now and it looks great and it looks like there's a floodlight shining on the uh, clock tower 
that looks really cool. I'm going to put a, some figures outside the front of that, like a, a wedding congregation or whatever, but I haven't quite got around to doing that yet. Okay, so come around here, and you've got the uh, signal box, and hopefully you'll see the characters standing inside there, a couple of them, and there's a guy sitting down at the controls. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Down here, the, one of the line side hooks. I've also put a winder in that as well, because the little milk a bit bland. Uh, there, yeah, um, then the platforms, and now obviously with all the lighting on, you're gonna get a lot better. So you're gonna be able to see it a lot better. So, yeah, pretty cool. I'm really pleased with the lighting. It's come out fantastic. So yeah, so if I come up here, right, you can see there look, where the crowd's looking at the uh, Dewitt Clinton locos. There's a light on in the waiting room there, and then further along. Yeah, there's the light in the uh, newspaper kiosk, cigarette kiosk, whatever you want to call it. And we've got this signal box here. Now I haven't actually put any characters in it yet, I, I forgot to do that one. But it, it is in mind to be done, so uh, no big deal. And then round here finally to the main booking hall ticket office. A few people going in, so lighting all on. And it looks fantastic. I'm going to slowly get up and move over here give you a more of a long shot of it all okay so there you go then that's all the platform sections all lit up right through the signal box over at the end there look refueling shed church other buildings yeah and back to the street and uh, yeah we'll call it a day hope you enjoyed that uh, oh I'll tell you what we'll do before I go I'll put the light back on I'm going to show you something here. Come around here. I um, I'll turn that off now. Like right, that's uh, me lighting. Now you see here. I put a uh, a fan on this. It didn't desperately need it. It got quite warm with the uh, 58 lamps on it. Um, it. It didn't desperately need it, but for the sake of you know, a couple of quid for a little fan and a grill, it just helped keep it nice and cool. Um, and I've also built another one the same now this one is also for lighting um, and I'm not going to tell you any more because a little bit of a surprise come in in a, uh, another video a bit later on but I'm, I'm doing some more lighting and I'll explain everything when I do the video now what I will just say to you is my next two videos three videos sorry are all going to be about um, the requests what people have put in that they want to see certain items running I won't say what they are at the moment but the next three videos are already planned for uh, doing the running of some requests so uh, watch out for those as coming as soon as I can do them so take care of yourselves everybody hope you enjoyed the vid see ya bye